Hey everyone, welcome to another video. And as you can see by the title, it is another Cuban coin video. Probably one of the last ones I'll be making for a little bit. This will have some interesting coins. As you can see, I have a graded coin, non-graded coin, and a set. Let's start with the set first. So, this set is pretty cool, especially if you follow my Instagram. You'll probably be like, hey, why have you not done this earlier? And the only answer I've got for you is uh, I'm a little dumb. But yeah, let's start with the coin on the left. This is Miguel de Cervantes, and he's the author of a famous literary piece called Don Quixote de la Mancha. Really, really important uh, piece of Spanish literature that basically everyone knows now um, across the world. You know, it's just kind of one of those pieces of literature that um, a lot of people really enjoy have fun with, but has deep meanings as well. So the author right there on the coin on the left, 1982, 1547 to 1616. Here in the middle, we've got El Ingenioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha with his trusty sidekick, uh, Sancho Panza. There you go. Uh, really cool little, little coin there. These are all one peso, so they are Cooper and nickel. They are not silver which as you know, um, I don't really collect things that aren't silver, but because it was a set and I was able to get it at a really good price, um, I couldn't say no to it. And here on the right, we've got the famous scene of Don Quixote charging a windmill. Um, that's a famous part of the book. And, you know, he thought it was like a dragon, um, creature, monster type thing. And so he charges it and only to find out, it's like, oh, it's just a little windmill. But yeah, really love these coins. I think they're really sick. Um, I don't really want to show the reverses. Um, let me see if I can... Oh, never mind. I can easily pull it out. So, if you can see that, it's a plain edge coin. And the reverse is just your normal República de Cuba. The coat of arms. And one peso. Yeah, really cool. Really pristine looking coins. Um, if I had money, I would probably grade these for the fun of it, but I do not have money. But yeah, really, really cool set. And if you're wondering how much I bought it for, since some people like asking that, 20 euros. Uh, so yeah, really, really sick. Really happy with that price. So it basically puts that like six euro fifty for each coin around there, give or take. Um, I think it's worth it. Um, you really can't find these coins easily here in the States. And so being able to buy them for that price is, I think, a steal. Because I think usually if you try to buy it like um, in the States, I think you're like 20 bucks per piece around there, sometimes 25. But yeah, pretty cool. Really happy about that. Um, let's leave the graded coin for last. And let's go with this one. If you saw my previous video, you'll kind of recognize this sort of design here. You see, I've got Pita, Piratas del Caribe, Pirates of the Caribbean, and we've got Captain Kidd here, 1995. Pretty cool. It's colorized. Reverse, it is the Republica de Cuba, 20 grams, 10 pesos, AGs, 999. Really happy about this because now it's the second Pirates of the Caribbean silver piece that I have. The first one being Blackbeard. So really nice to have this in the collection. And I think it's really cool because uh, officially there's supposedly a high mintage for these silver varieties. But from what I've heard from other sources, I heard it's actually a lot, lot less than what is officially stated. Um, so yeah, um, no one really knows for sure what the actual mintage is for these coins, but... If I could get the complete set, I would be pretty happy. Of course, though, it still costs me money. And yeah, um, I am not that wealthy at the moment. But yeah, still happy with this coin. Happy for the price I paid for it. Um, yeah, maybe hopefully I can get that complete set soon. Now, last but not least, the coin I keep pushing off to the end. And you'll kind of see why. So... This is a graded example. This is a Proof 68 Deep Cameo French Revolution PA4, Pi4, I don't know really how to pronounce it, from Cuba though. 
So this is celebrating the 200th anniversary of the French Revolution. As you can see, 1789, 1989. And if there's any kids watching, please, there is a little bit of nudity, as you can see. But it says right there on the legend, Libertad, Igualidad y Fraternidad. So liberty, equality, and fraternity. Pretty beautiful. And this obverse was designed from a famous, I think, French painting, um, something about like Delacroix, potentially, or I don't really know many French painters. Um, I did a little bit of research um, about it, but I think it was like Delacroix. It's um, Liberty um, Guiding or yeah, something like that. Um, so yeah, this is supposed to represent liberty, um, guiding the French people um, towards the revolution, which I think is a sick, sick design. I saw this coin and I picked it up. One, for the design, and two, the mintage. The mintage is only 150 pieces minted, and this is one of the higher uh, grades. Of course, you know, you would want that 70, but I don't got that 70 money, you know? So a 68 for a piece that only 149 others exist. I'll take that any day of the, of the week. And in the reverse, a little different, just a little different. You've got Republica de Cuba, the coat of arms as usual. You've got the incorrect um, weight over there. It says 26.72. Let me see if I can just get that to focus. I am not able to. And you've got the silver purity. But right at the bottom, you've got... Let me see if I can get this just to focus a little bit. There you go. Bicentenario de la Revolución Francesa. So yeah, there you go. The 200th anniversary of the French Revolution. My bad. 10 pesos. But yeah, really beautiful piece. Really, really happy I was able to actually get this piece. Um, a couple have been showing up on auction here and there, but they usually just go a little bit higher than what I'm able to actually afford. Um, I was able to purchase this from a seller. Uh, directly so i didn't have to pay the auction fees or anything so that's kind of what made it a little bit cheaper and i'm really happy with that there's some toning on the edges as you can see like a little gold reddish hues and i think it's just a really important piece um because of this revolution idea that you know us as humans always strive for freedom in some sort of sense so yeah uh thank you guys for watching um you know, if you have any questions about any of these coins, you can always leave it down below in the comments and I will try to respond to them as fast as I can. If you like this sort of video, leaving a like always helps the channel out and I've noticed that around 90% of you are not subscribed to the channel and if you do like this sort of content, I highly recommend subscribing as I usually post uh, coin videos. Uh, bills, uh, videos about bills or banknotes, and some oddities here and there, like autographs from any conventions I go to, or like, you know, figures, or like anything else that I kind of collect. Um, but this channel primarily does focus on coins and currencies, so if you're into that, please subscribe. But yeah, uh, thank you again for watching. Really do hope that you found some of these coins interesting, if not, hopefully all of them. And I really hope that you guys have a really good rest of your day. And remember, Stay safe.